Snuggle your journaling around elements on your page with a custom text box. This video is being filmed in expert mode of Photoshop Elements. Here's a preview of what we'll be creating together. I'll be showing you how you can use the polygonal lasso tool and the type tool together to make a custom text box on your own pages. I've already opened the custom text box template from the download folder and press the letter D to reset the color chips to the default of black over white. It's important to note that for this technique to work 100% of the time, it's best to start by activating a layer with no transparency. The most common layer with no transparency is the background layer. You could also activate a layer that is completely filled with color or one that is completely filled with a background paper. In the Layers panel, click on the background layer to activate it. Then get the polygonal lasso tool, and in the tool options, click on the new selection icon, set the feather to zero pixels, and check anti-aliasing. On the document, click to place a series of segments that loosely outlines the shape that you want your type to fill. I'll start below the title on the right side. When placing a segment, you want to snuggle it closely enough to the element to create a connection and to avoid trapped space. However, you'll want to avoid placing it too close or your journaling may appear crowded. To undo a segment, press the backspace key or the delete key on a Mac. To close the selection, click at the beginning of the first segment. Next, we're going to convert the selection to a path. Get the text on selection tool. It's nested with the other type tools. It's the icon with the dotted square around the letter T. On the document, hover the cursor inside the selection. Click once and then click the check mark. This causes the selection to turn into a path that you can type inside of. Get the horizontal type tool. And when you click on the horizontal type tool, this will cause the path to disappear. To get the path back in the menu bar, choose edit, undo, delete path, or you can use the shortcut control Z or command Z on a Mac, and this will restore the path. Now it's time to add the journaling. The horizontal type tool should still be active. In the tool options, open the font picker and choose a journaling style font. I'm using Myriad Pro Regular. When choosing a font, make sure to use an easy to read font, a print style font, or a handwritten font. Use a font size of 12 to 14 points for journaling. Avoid hard to read and script style fonts, and also avoid using fonts that are in all capital letters. Back in the tool options, set the size to 12 and press enter or return. Set the leading to auto and the tracking to zero. Click on the left align icon. On the document, Hover the cursor inside the custom text box until you see the eye beam with a dotted circle around it. Click once to place the cursor and then type your journaling. Click the check mark to commit the type. In the layers panel, click and drag the replace paint layer below the type layer because that's where it would naturally appear on the page. Lastly, finish the page as desired and save the document as a layered PSD file with a unique name. Here is my finished page using the kit named Choices by Vicki Robinson Designs. It was so nice to have my journaling snuggled between the photo and the elements on my page. I can't wait to see what you come up with using this technique. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. This has been Gina Harper with Digital Scrapper. We help you get your stories told.